Yo, what is up guys? Del Boy here, aka Blue Collar Sports TV. Hopefully you guys are doing well. If you're new here, smash that like, hit subscribe, all of that good stuff. So, October 31st, Dave Allen's opponent has been announced for the Alexander Yusek vs Derek Chisora undercard. And Dave Allen is going to be fighting American heavyweight Christopher Lovejoy. Now on paper... And this is how Christopher Lovejoy will be sold. Uh, Christopher Lovejoy has a very good looking record. He's unbeaten. He's 19 and 0 with 19 knockouts. And he's a fairly big heavyweight at 6 foot 5. According to BoxRec at least. So on paper, Christopher Lovejoy looks like a potentially decent opponent. But in reality, that's more than likely not to be the case. Um, when you delve into Christopher Lovejoy's record, you will see that in his 19 fights, his record consists of unknown debutants and basically guys with losing records. In fact, Christopher Lovejoy has only ever beaten one fighter with a winning record in his career. That was against a guy called Jorge Alfredo Leal, and Leal was coming off a six-year hiatus um, before that fight, so Christopher Lovejoy's record is an absolute joke. 18 of his 19 wins come by way of guys who are either debutants or guys with horrendous losing records. And it would be okay if it was the heavyweight division's recognisable journeyman, but no, the guys that Lovejoy's been knocking over are complete pancakes, to be honest. His record is an absolute farce. To put it into context, BoxRec rate Christopher Lovejoy as the 443rd best heavyweight in the world. Obviously, BoxRec compile their rankings on basically who you beat. So, as we can see, Christopher Lovejoy has been feasting on pancakes and cab drivers. The record is absolutely disgraceful. Uh, there's not much footage of Christopher Lovejoy online. And let's be honest, there's more than likely a reason for that. More than likely that the guy's not very good at all. Um, he's just built his record up against nobody's to basically get a semi-decent payday. In my opinion, that's what Christopher Lovejoy has done. Um, but yeah, somehow this guy finds himself ranked by the WBA. Um, he's ranked by the WBA for beating um, immortal greats, such as the four wins, 27 losses, Martin Rodriguez. Also, he holds a win over the formidable Esteban Sosa Vasquez, who has an amazing record of 2 wins and 14 losses. So we can see why Christopher Lovejoy is ranked. He's clearly gone through a murderer's row level of opposition, so maybe I'm being too harsh on the WBA. Maybe he does deserve to be ranked based on this stellar competition. Who am I to judge? But in all seriousness, this really is scraping the bottom of the barrel. I mean, Christopher Lovejoy, where did they dig this guy up from? Christ almighty. I mean, come on. Dave Allen was obviously supposed to fight Christian Hammer originally on this card. And for me, that was a big challenge for Dave Allen. I, I actually made him a big underdog going into that fight with Christian Hammer. And a loss there would have been detrimental to Dave Allen's career. So, yeah, Christian Hammer was a good opponent. But to go from Christian Hammer to Christopher Lovejoy is an absolute joke. Bear in mind this fight is going to be on a pay-per-view card. I actually heard that the original plans were to have Dave Allen as the co-main event for this card. That can't go ahead now with this level of opponents. In reality, this fight should be on the free portion of the pay-per-view. It's absolute crap. Man, I I'm really, really disappointed by this replacement opponent for Dave Allen. I mean, before Christian Hammer was announced, there were quite a few names that were being considered for Dave Allen's opponents, and one of the names was actually Trey Lippe Morrison, an American heavyweight prospect who's unbeaten all of his fights he's won by knockout. Now, Trey Lippe Morrison, again, he's not proven at all, he's not really for anybody, but Trey Lippe Morrison is the son of Tommy Morrison, he's got some name value, you know, and Trey Lippe Morrison, despite him not having a great record himself, he's beaten better guys than Christopher Lovejoy, to be honest. So, why they couldn't have just gone back to Trey Lippe Morrison to be the replacement opponents, I don't know. Why they came to Christopher Lovejoy beats me. I mean, come on now. Maybe it's because he's got that inflated WBA ranking. I think he's ranked at, like, number 15 in the WBA. Maybe that's why they're getting Dave Allen to fight this dude. Um, but who knows? Who knows? I would literally rather see Dave Allen 
versus Tom Little. And I'm being serious. I'm being deadly serious. I mean, Christopher Lovejoy, come on. I mean, I wouldn't have a problem with this fight if it was on, like, a regular Sky card. Like, the, f like the first fight on a regular Sky card. Fair enough. I, I could see where they're going with it. But on a pay-per-view card, Dave Allen versus an unproven guy who's nobody seen fight before. There's literally barely any footage of this guy. I mean, Christ. This guy's record is as inflated as a Californian soccer mum's titties. Completely fake. I mean, come on, man. Jesus Christ. Share your thoughts below. Peace.